Right, welcome to this review for the new industrial terrain set uh, that GameMat.eu EU have produced. Uh, so they make uh, great battle mats, uh, perfect for games of Warhammer 40,000. Uh, but they're also branching out into uh, pre-made terrain as well. There's a number of uh, terrain sets that are available. In this episode, this video here, we're going to take a look uh, at the industrial terrain set. I think it's going to fit in very well uh, with sort of my Skatari type uh, based armies, also sort of Imperial Guards based runes that will fit in very well with them. The box has arrived. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the uh, the different parts of this terrain set. It's a big set, there's multiple parts to it and it should fill up a uh, 6x4 board pretty well. Um, the set that I've got is pre-painted. Um, just to give you an idea of cost, it's £105 for uh, the entire set and, and painted or you, you do have the option of buying it unpainted if you wish. Uh, it's £79, so a fair bit cheaper there uh, if you want to go about painting it uh, in your own way. But we'll take a look here. Right. Just going to open them out as they come. It comes in a nice large box and they're very well packaged. The terrain is resin based, so they've packaged it nicely with polystyrene just to protect it. larger unit. It's pretty impressive actually. That is big. That's a big piece of terrain. So that's the, the standard uh, that you can expect through the post. As you can see you can just take it straight out of the box and use it in game straight away. That is a large piece of terrain that. So there's a nice solid feel to it. But uh, good for line of sight. I'm just going to try and scale this here. We'll bring in a uh, 40k uh, some figures here and just so you can get an idea of scale. So, I've got a stalker here that I'm going to be painting soon. That just gives you an idea of scale. Uh, so, complete line of sight blocking here for vehicles, which is good. So, and that's going to fill up a nice chunk of the battlefield there on a 6x4 board. So, it's bigger than I thought it would be. That's actually a very nice piece of terrain. Just looking around here for the quality of the mould. It looks good. All the corners are in there. Can't see any bubbles. So it's a nice quality piece of terrain that. So good. It's a good start. We'll, we'll bring out some more of the uh, terrain pieces here. So just push that to the side. I don't know what each box contains here, so it'll be interesting to see what comes out. This one's a smaller one. Alright, so you're then getting individually wrapped crates, like so. Yes, now, just take a few out so you can see. In they are. So that's the bottom there and in there. So, um, it's good they're individual, um, because I do, especially for the games that we play, do like to be able to stack them how you want. You can do them all in a row, you can just stack them on top of each other, you can have just one big dump, whatever you want. So it's more flexible when they're like that, instead of them being sculpted together in lumps. So that's good. And just to bring it in there for scale as well. So that gives you an idea of the size of those. And you get, that's a set of 12 inside that box. So a set of 12 of them. Nice number. Next one, all the smaller boxes. Now you're looking to play a game quite quick. Perhaps you're new to one forty thousand. You can just get yourself a mat, one set of terrain, one complete set of terrain. You're pretty much ready to go straight into a game. Um, so it saves plenty of time. Pull this one out. Again, can't fold the packaging. Right, so these are so industrial piping stacked up like this. There's one and two. And it's quite a simple part of the terrain set, but you would expect that kind of thing uh, on an industrial type piece of terrain. So 
looks fine. And again, nice line of sight blocking terrain as well. So, and you can join them up, put them in whatever combination you want. So you get two of those in the set as well. Uh, a bit later on, I'm going to zoom out here and then we'll set up uh, a, a, a mat and then lay the terrain. I'll give you an idea of how it look uh, on a 6x4 battle mat. So next one, I mean, I'm excited about this set because collecting Skitari at the moment, finishing that army off. I think this terrain will go perfectly with them. So we'll Martian, Mars world, forge world type terrain. This one up. For packaging, what I'll do for, for my terrain um, is I'll probably just bubble wrap them up and put them in a larger box. They're easy to get out, and this is quite fiddly. Um, I think this this great packaging for transportation to get them to you, but I'll probably just use bubble wrap to store them. So again, these are huge. These are way bigger than I thought they would be. See, I, in the picture, I, I was expecting these to be this, the size of uh, the containers that Games Workshop produced, the plastic ones. In fact, I'll bring one in as a size comparison, just here. So there's a GW one. And there's one of, there's one of the ones from GameMat.au. I mean, it's totally fine scale-wise because you're going to get small and large containers. Um, I'm hoping, I'll try and paint them up. I might give these a repaint just to fit in uh, with the terrain theme that I'm going for. Um, and then hopefully it'll match in with my other uh, ones of these. I'm painting up so the whole thing will link in quite nicely. But I think they match together pretty good. Uh, no problem at all. So... I think it's that way up or that way up. It's just there. But again, line of sight blocking terrain here. So you can see the tank up against that. So really good. And you get four of these in the set. Again, you can stack them right up if you wish, and that would be very high. And then uh, side by side or whatever combination. But Rock solid, all the way around, and then it's nice sculpting work on there, and then uh, the quality of the mould and uh, the way that's come out is can't see any faults on there at all. So nice quality. All right, so that's those four. It's definitely going to fill up a six by four table pretty good. I was worried that it would be a set that's very low and nothing can hide behind, but a lot of these are higher than the average tank, so it's definitely going to block line of sight quite nice, just going to push those. There's one larger box left, so push this larger box here, going to open this one up. Alright, so just putting this one out. Right, very nice, this looks really good. These look really nice actually. So you get four of these. Yeah, they are really, really nice. No. So I, whoever sculpted these has, has done them very well, like real power plant type stuff and a real sort of um, a planetary base type. So it's not military as such, it's more sort of infrastructure and power plants and turbines, that kind of thing, but perfect, like a, I am trying to go for a Skatari, like an Imperial base, with all cargo around and these kind of things on the battlefield, so perfect, what I'm looking for there. Equally, Imperial Guard, Fame, Space Marines, all that kind of stuff, put these in the city as well, no problem at all, really nice. So, I've got the painted set come through, I might make some adjustments to it, uh, paint on top, uh, the way I go about that, if you're thinking of doing something similar, uh, there's a number of options. First option is you can buy the unpainted set, so you can just paint straight onto it, do your own design entirely, and it would be cheaper to do that. Um, or the other option is just to buy the painted set and use it as it is, which is fine. You can see here that's the quality uh, that you can expect. Uh, and then the third option, which is the one I'm probably going to go for, uh, is the pre-painted set, just to give you your base colours. I'll probably give it a coat of varnish. These have probably been varnished already, but I'll just start afresh, give it a coat of the purity silk varnish and then do some weathering and some chipping over the top just to enhance 
what's already there. Right, so that's that one. And then there's the other three, so four of them. Which is really good. I'm glad you get four. It's probably my favourite one, this one here. That's look really good. And again, they're separate, so you can uh, join them together. Uh, put them at any angles that you want. Whatever, whatever arrangement you want to go for. So, nice flexibility with this terrain. So, really good. Nice, solid build to those. And then, this is the last one. Just there. So quite a nice, a nice subdued colour scheme, there's multiple layers to it, it's sort of a grey colour and they put on some browns and some sort of bronzy effects on there, that's the kind of colour scheme you can expect to come through the post. So that's them, what I'm going to do now is zoom out, I'm going to set up a battle mat and then you'll get a view of how the train looks on a 6x4 table. Right, so I've set up the uh, industrial train set here on a 6x4 table, so this is the Forges of Mars uh, battle mat that Game Mat have gamemat.eu have produced and then I think this set goes perfectly on there so this is what you can expect uh, to be able to lay out if you just buy the mat and then this terrain set here so that you can see the board filled up very nicely indeed and then just using the design that's on the mat there uh, to lay the terrain out so there's the larger industrial unit just there there's two of the smaller ones I put next to each other one just here I've tucked one in the corner and then the boxes are handy just for scattering around sort of outside the industrial complex there and the piping as well is handy to put on the outskirts and then I've stacked these here just to show that you can generate some real nice height you can almost hide an imperial knight behind the height of that just there, I think it fits perfectly with the terrain so it just gives you an idea um, of how you can fill the table up I'd say the table's filled up pretty good actually uh, not too bad at all, that would make for a nice game of Warhammer 40,000. You can imagine Skatari looking really good on here, Imperial Guard, Space Marines, uh, that kind of Imperial base type theme. This terrain set is perfect for that. So you can check them out at gamemat.eu. Uh, they do ship all over the world, and then you can look up the industrial terrain set there. There's a number of other sets available as well, and then a whole range of different battle mats available from them also. But that's the review, very impressed indeed, and you can keep a look out for this set being used in future games of Warhammer 40,000 on both the channels. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.